why you need a PSN account to play God of War Ragnarok which is going to come on September 19 and do you belong to this list of countries in which PSN is valid because if you do not belong to this list of country you cannot play God of War Ragnarok because PSN is banned in the other countries in which PSN is not available. So you have to belong to this list of countries in order to play God of War Ragnarok. So why out of the blue suddenly PlayStation has made this condition that you need a PSN account to play God of War Ragnarok and how can you set up a PSN account? This is Sumit Charismatic. Let's get started. If you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe it. So why PlayStation has added this condition because they want to know the user who are the actual users who are playing this game because from Steam it's not possible to identify which gamers are playing this game. So first of all, this is the list of country. You have to belong to this list of country and there are still list of 200 and more than 150 or 200 countries in which PSN is not applicable. That's why Ghost of Sushima multiplayer, most of the gamers are not able to play. You have to belong to Argentina, Australia. I belong to India and you can see India is certainly here and PSN is valid. So I can go ahead and create a PSN account in order to play this game. And that is very much important. That is the condition which they have care. They have given you require a third party account PlayStation. And how can you create for this? If you have a valid and you belong to that list of country, which I just showed, you can go back and see whether whether you belong to that available list of countries or not. So this is the PlayStation.com website, which you have to go and you have to create your account. This is how you set up your account on the PlayStation Network. Now, uh, they are saying that you have to link your set up your PS5 or PS4. That is not what you have to do. You When you buy it from Steam, you have to link your Steam account with this PlayStation and that is how you create your PSN account. And I think they have added this condition just to know who are the gamers who are playing this game because they want to pull, pull this potential PC gamers to their PSN network, their PlayStation website because they think that they are their future buyers of PlayStation. You have to understand the marketing strategy from PlayStation. They are giving you a game, but they're also asking you to create your account from PlayStation because when you go to PlayStation, you will understand there are, there are a lot of games on PlayStation and you will be more into buying a PlayStation. That is what their end target is. And that is what I think it's a great marketing strategy from them. But from a gamer point of view, if you do not belong to that country, I think that is a big problem which they have to understand. And I don't know how, what will happen if you belong to that not list of country, which is more than 200, but you need a PSN account. And this is how you you are going to create a PSN account. You have to create a new account in this PlayStation website. That is what they are doing. So let me know in the comment section if you guys, what is your thought about it? What is your point about it? Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it. See you in the video. Bye bye. Take care. Keep supporting. Keep loving. And always, always keep gaming.